So this is it. Pray in the Lord Jesus, exchange it text messages, ooing and aahing over the integrity of corporate pop stars, ooing and aahing over the integrity of our corporate system, stuffing our faces with product placements as we watch integrated celebrities cross-market global consciousness in car commercials in the neurotic snack food hope that the cavalcade of great and famous men on the TV are speechifying right and true about us being the caring, righteous, and generous light of the world when we all know that the average American is a selfish prick on a cell phone, <laughs> and the rich and connected people who actually got tickets to the inauguration would piss on a poor person if his or her head was on fire. I love, I love Bill Ayers and the Weather Underground. Yeah. I have a documentary about them on my bookshelf next to a signed copy of Gigi Allen's first album and the trophy I won for Best Bottom, West Village Gay Pride, 1984. While our crazy, sexy, cool government was carpet bombing Vietnam, napalming children, poisoning its own soldiers with Agent Orange, and secretly funding Mexican illegals to come across the border and infect our way of life. That's a joke. The Weather Underground rightly and bravely tried to bring the nightmare home to mainstream America, that obese anorexic charging drinks on the credit card at the end of the bar could get a small taste of what their tax money was doing to other people around the world. While the CIA was moving heroin from Southeast Asia into the inner city while showing gangs in LA how to make crack and all that other conspiracy theory lefty shit that everybody here knows is fucking true. <laughs> While that douchebag egghead McNamara, who did not absolve himself by, of sin by crying like a little bitch <laughs> on a documentary 35 years after the fact, <laughs> was reducing the value of human life into spreadsheet, book involved, Nazi, CPA nothingness. While Tricky Dick was marrying off Pollyanna Vagina in the White House garden. While that coke snorting obese anorexic of an American mainstream was sucking on Lawrence Welk, eating pork chops with red, white, blue applesauce, dripping like jizz from the lying mouth of the worst war criminal of all time, Henry Kissinger, Bill Ayers, and the Weather Underground said bravely and rightly they were not going to be complicit in the hypocritical moral policy of the expanding empire, so we're blowing up a few state buildings and taking whatever action we must, even if it means killing ourselves over on 11th Street, to halt the horrendous disinformation, vile manipulations, and mass murder perpetrated by a government that dances on poor people's heads while religiously claiming to be the defender of human rights and dignity. Oh, yeah. I'll repeat it for Woo! all to hear. <laughs> I dig the Weather Underground yeah. says I love the Abraham Lincoln Brigades. Woo! Lenny Bruce, Susan Woo! Chavez, Emma Woo! Goldman, Marcus Garvey, Dalton Trumbo, Sacco and Vanzetti, Darby fucking Crash, Cheech and Chong, Big Bill Haywood, and all the beloved true telling badasses of the real American left. Very good. All right. I wanted Barack Obama to be inaugurated today as much, if not more, than anybody. I spent two months going door to door for him in Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, where this trailer park chick, not bad looking, with a baby in her arms and a cig in her hand, told me, I'm a Christian. I ain't going to vote for no goddamn Muslim. They invited me into a double wide for a beer. And I campaigned for Obama in the wealthy Bucks County suburbs of Philly, where a rich white woman got off her cell phone long enough to tell me, I believe neither that he has enough experience, nor do I feel that I can trust him. I was slamming a door with fake knockers in my face, the woman, not the door. I believe that thought without action means little. So volunteered in the hopes in Obama presidency will mean something more to the lower classes than CNN videos of him playing basketball in the new White House yeah. courts. That said, I believe that the problems in this country are systemic, financially burned into the fabric, and that the man in the suit usually buys a new car with the profit he makes on my dreams. <laughs> Traffic. Yes, Obama was inaugurated. This is definitely good news. But no matter how this thing shakes out, we will still not be invited to the club. Rich folks will still be eating dinner in their fancy dining cars, probably drinking coffee, 
be smoking big cigars. <laughs> Corporations will still control, sanitize, and homogenize our culture. Families will still be ripped apart by the drug war. Poor people will still be executed. London will still be calling. John Roberts will still be Chief Justice. There will still be socioeconomic inequity straight out of 1932. Our democracy will still be for sale, with access limited to the only, the very wealthy. You will still be born to lose in gamblings for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Motorhead. This is the privatization of public property as a means to gouge the First Amendment, and don't forget the Joker. The, U no, the U.S. will still be the world's biggest arm dealer, selling death to all sides all the time. Darrow will still be completely wasting, out of work and down. Workers will still be used up and exploited. Roland, the headless Thompson gunner, will still get his head blown off by that son of a bitch from Hanno and Zivon. Telecommunications companies will still be granted immunity from spying on me and you. There will still be beyond excessive entanglement of religion. The feds will still use the Fourth Amendment to pick up dog shit on the White House lawn. I still could have been someone. But so could anyone, <laughs> folks. More than a quarter of our children will still be born into poverty. We will still be at war. Recruiters standing on Newark street corners. Generals gathered in the masses. Just like witches have black masses. Needless to say, pretentious cultural douchebags will continue to remain pretentious cultural douchebags. Life will still be stupid and contagious. Here we go, now entertain us. And if that's not bad enough, so it's even a longer way to talk if you want to rock and roll, that $700 billion Wall Street bailout ripoff that our innocent new president advocated for, Charlie, and it's now making Bernard Madoff look like Oscar fucking Schindler, has rendered campaign promises and inauguration day speeches even more meaningless than usual, so that the whole stinking song that's made you want to curl up and die these last eight years will 92.25% continue to remain the same, except for one thing. We won't be cool to be pissed off about it anymore. Barack Obama is in the White House. Anger is no longer necessary. Dissent, resistance, and protest will be poo-pooed. Whatever little righteous angst and edge surfaced these last few years, whatever belief there was that sh thought should be put into action, whatever poon or dick you got playing lefty rider at the bar and telling stories about how you got arrested while protesting Rockefeller Center, <laughs> will be lost in a well-adjusted haze of Chardonnay and Wellbutrin. <laughs> Ripping in the bush and knowing who Naomi Klein is will no longer get you laid. <laughs> I know, friends, it sucks. We all read Noam Chomsky for nothing. <laughs> the sexy aspects of creeping fascism will be gone, while the lame aspects of creeping fascism will endure. We are entering one of those Twilight Zone dinner parties where everyone is toasting like it's 1955, and while right underneath the table is a 700-pound psychotic alien gorilla with a 35-inch cock that's going to jump out any second like a tattooed love boy, show you what that hole is for. <laughs> 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 <laughs>